In this video, I will be demonstrating how to perform the factory data reset on the Curio Extreme 2. Warning, a factory reset will erase all the content of the internal memory of your tablet, including all apps, games, and files you save in this internal memory. If possible, please move your files to the external SD card first. Okay, now the first step we want to do in performing the factory data reset is we're going to press the power button to power off the device. Once the device is completely off, the next step we're going to do is press the power button and the volume up button at the same time until we see the screen with the Android robot and that would be our recovery screen. So as the tablet is powering off, we do want to continue to hold both buttons. And as you can see, we did arrive to our recovery screen here. But we don't see any menu options once we get to our screen. So what we'll need to do is we need to press the power button for two seconds, hold the volume up button for about three seconds simultaneously and then we'll release and then we will arrive to our recovery menu screen where we will once again be using our volume down as well as the volume up buttons to maneuver through our menu here and the option we'll need to choose from the menu here is the wipe data factory reset option so once we have that option highlighted we are going to push the power button to select that option. Again, we'll use the volume down buttons to get to our yes option. Once it's highlighted, again, we'll push the power button to select yes. At that point, it will begin to erase all the memory on the device. Once the factory data reset has completed, it will redirect you once again to our recovery screen, where at this time we will select to reboot system now. So once highlighted, we will select the power button to reboot the system. And at that point, the device will begin to reboot and it will direct us to our KD Interactive screen. Now please note that after the factory data reset, the unit will boot to the smiley face screen as well and it may take about three to five minutes to fully load. Once it fully loads back up, we will be able to set up the device as it, you just purchased it from the store.